Vince Power, the legendary Irish impresario who founded the UK's Mean Fiddler Music Group, had a hand in many of Europe's leading festivals, and was made an honorary commander of the Order of the British Empire CB for his work in the live music industry. Died Saturday, March 9th. He was 76. Power had the right name for the job. Born into a rural family in 1947 in County Waterford, Ireland, the concert promoter and venue operator founded MFMG in 1982. Then a small northwest London country music venue. He made his move to London at age 16 and initially ventured into the second-hand furniture business. But his love of music led him to invest in that derelict former drinking club in Harlesden. The mean fiddler was born, and it proved to be the platform from which he built an empire. At its peak, the group encompassed some 30 venues and events, including the London Astoria, Jazz Cafe, the Leeds and Reading Festivals, Fled Festival, and an interest in Europe's biggest and best-known annual festival, England's Glastonbury. He sold his stake in MFMG in 2005 to Clear Channel. Now Live Nation, and returned to the game with a new live entertainment venture, the Vince Power Music Group, initially comprising a portfolio of London live music venues, bars and nightclubs. The following year, in 2006, Power was made an honorary CV for his valuable contribution to music. Power re-entered the festival business with the day at the Hop Farm Fest and took a controlling interest in Spain's Benicassim Vince Power Music Group was hammered by the global financial crisis and went under in 2010. I just love organizing festivals. He told Billboard in 2008. It's a challenge again and I'm not ready to keel over just yet. With the mean fiddler, we had a huge amount of stuff which we did live music festivals, dance festivals, bars, tours and when I sold it out three years ago, it had got to the stage that it was huge. It was a public limited company. It had 80 million pounds, dollar 158 million in revenue. And I lost the sort of touch that I have now, the hands-on touch. I looked at retiring for about two weeks. Laughs, that didn't really work for me. Power is remembered as a music man and a maverick with a tough guy image. But in an interview with the Irish Times, he described himself as a lucky chancer. Power never switched off the music, never forget his Irish roots. In recent years, he produced Liverpool Phase Festival, billed as the biggest celebration of Irish culture the city has ever seen. As news of his passing spread, the music community paid their respects to the powerful Irish concerts specialist. I'm going to miss you so very much, my friend in music, in thinking, in dreaming," writes Welsh singer and songwriter Saris Matthews, co-founder of Catatonia. Love you very much. Irish Imelda May writes on social media, So sad to hear of the passing of the great Vince Power. I adored him. He took a chance on me at the start of my career when I needed it most. He was so important to Irish culture and community at home and the UK. He'll be greatly missed. Love to his family. Power is survived by his wife Sharon. The Irish-born music icon opened the iconic Mean Fiddler venue back in 1982. Born in Kilmacthomas, Vince went to London in 1963 age 15 with nothing, but sold his Mean Fiddler music empire to Clear Channel for £38 million in 2005. The former furniture seller started with the Mean Fiddler music venue in Harlesden. North London. Speaking to the Irish Sun in 2018, Vince said, Right from the start at the Mean Fiddler we made bands feel welcome. They didn't do that at the other London venues and the bands kept coming back. The Irish-run Mean Fiddler became the hippest venue in London with everybody from Roy Orbison to Johnny Cash, Chris Christopherson and chart acts Lloyd Cole and the commotions dropping in. Vince ended up running London's Astoria Forum, the Jazz Café, Clapham Grand, Subterranea and the Powerhouse, as well as festivals including Reading, Leeds, Homelands, and The Fled. In 2006, Power was appointed a CB. Although he managed venues, Vince only managed one music act, the late John Martin. Vince, it was great, apart from the time, I booked the singer John Martin who I was managing at the time. 
He was due to play on Sunday night at 7 p.m. but didn't show up till midnight. He's been drinking all day and went on stage and threw up over the front row. I ran out to the box office and gave everyone their money back. John was the only act I ever managed. It only lasted a week. Music legend Vince Power has died. The 76-year-old, originally from Kilmac Thomas, Cole Waterford died on Saturday. Best known for his work as an Irish music venue and festival owner, Power was the founder of Mean Fiddler and lived and operated in London. Born in Kilmac Thomas, Cole Waterford in April 1947, Vince Power moved to London at the age of 15. He was one of an estimated 100,000 Irish people who moved to Britain in the 1960s with London, as it is now, a favoured destination. He was the driving force behind the famed Fled Moore in Tramore in 1993, and was also the founder of South. The Fled Moore Tramore was one of the biggest music events Waterford had ever seen and took place today in July 1993 at Tramore Racecourse. It was one of the most memorable festival weekends Waterford has ever had, featuring international music superstars like Bob Dylan, Ray Charles, and Joan Baez. The event was overseen by Mean Fiddler, an organization founded by the Waterford Man in London in 1982. The Mean Fiddler Group, which went on to excel at numerous other renowned festivals including the Reading Music Festival among others. Established fled more back in Power's hometown of Trauma. The goal was to combine respected Irish and foreign rock, folk, country, and traditional artists to produce the fable. Listoon Varnabai. Due to Vince Power's connections with Trauma Racecourse, the location was chosen. He was involved with renowned festivals all around the world, such as Reading, Leeds, Glastonbury, Phoenix Festival, Hop Farm Music Festival, Benicassim, Tribal Gathering, Homelands, Liverpool, Fled London, Chicago, San Jose, Boston, New York, Glasgow, Ireland, San Francisco, Madstock, Finsbury Park, Big Love, Gig on the Green, Glasgow, NSS National Adventure Sports Show and Jam in the Park. Vince was a shareholder in radio station Beat 102 to 103 in 2003 along with U2 and he was also a key shareholder in Tramore Racecourse. Power was appointed a CB in 2006. In tribute, Memorial Exchange said, Today, the music community mourns the loss of one of its beloved figures, Vince Power, whose passing has left a profound void in the hearts of many. With heavy hearts, we extend our deepest condolences to Sharon Power and the entire Power family during this difficult time, Vince Power was more than just a music promoter, he was a friend, a visionary, and a purveyor of unforgettable experiences. His contributions to the music scene, particularly in venues like Subterranea London and the KPH, have left an indelible mark on both artists and audiences alike. The tribute continues, for those fortunate enough to have crossed paths with Vince, his infectious laughter. Warm spirit an unwavering passion for music will forever be cherished. Rest in peace, Vince Power. Your presence will be deeply missed, but your legacy will live on through the countless lives you touched and the music that will forever echo in our hearts. In this time of loss, may Sharon Power and the Power family find comfort in the outpouring of love and support from friends, colleagues, and music enthusiasts around the world. Vince's spirit will live on, shining brightly through the melodies and memories.